Hi guys, it's Taylor and welcome to Makeup by Taylor. Yay, woo possessed. Today I'm here with my very best friend. We've been friends since seventh grade. Tyler. Oh, He's gonna be great. doing my Hi, makeup. Yeah. And it's probably gonna I'm probably gonna be a drag queen and I'm okay with that. So let's get started. Alright, well, that. Okay. Alright, so we got foundation you up. Yeah. So, so you went so you went to Boston to see Jeffree Star. Tell us all about that. Yeah. Well it was very educational. I think it's sick on it. No. There it is. Okay. There we go. We just need a little drop. Alright, let me get your face. Wow, the clay it was girl. Bliss. Hmm? It was less. Yeah. Yeah. Paint two up. Now back to the class. Wow. And he's using Maybelline True Match oh, yeah. foundation. Oh, that makes him laugh. And porcelain, because I'm pale as a ghost. You like me? Yeah, I like being pale. Work it, mama. So anyway, we just lined it up like how he does his own thing. Mm-hmm. We just lined step by step, and it was really educational and fun. Now tell us about Jeffrey himself. Gorgeous. Perfect. Queen of eyebrows. Mannequin, beautiful. How are we doing now? We get your face. We get everything. Sorry, I'm just We're beating your face. This is what we do. We beat the face with foundation if anyone was left. Do you want me to move like the wisps of hair out of my That's happy. Okay. <laughs> Watch the mouth when you're beating Don't the face. You I'm sorry. Wrinkles. Can't help that. Yes, we can. You're making wrinkles. Okay. Use your beat a mannequin or something. Still foundation in the face. Okay. Look up. Neck and chin. Oh always, yeah, the neck. Always. So blend that in if you have a. Careful. <laughs> you have a, He's trying to choke me out, guys. If you have an open top, make sure you get your chest to an elasticity and blended skin. Okay, I'm just trying blend. to get it so it's not blend. on my shirt. Yeah. Okay. Blend, blend, blend ears too because we don't want red ears. It's a beautifully painted face. Basics 101. You also know this. But, you know, all right, now we're just going to blend that in. Do you want to use the other side of the sponge? No. Okay. Don't explain you. Let me make wrinkles and creases. I can't help that. When there's like a sponge, you should like... I'm heavy handed. So <laughs> oh, no. You're really heavy handed. All right, so we have our first base layer of foundation down. Put that up. And we are going to powder. Do you want to use, use the back powder. of some powder? That's the same. Oh, it's, it's like the it's like the rhinestone. Oh, I see, it, I see, it, I see. It. I'm getting it. All right. Now he's gonna powder the face. Hang on. Should we show the no, camera? No. All right, if you want, it's just where's this thing? Oh. Put it in here. Like some face powder. Face powder by Ben Nye. I like Ben Nye products. They're really good. Alright, we're gonna get up on our sponge. Don't explain. You're gonna make wrinkles. I'm trying. You're making wrinkles. I'm gonna be gentle around my eyes, please. My eyes are my best feature, everyone. Gonna really get it up around the cheekbone. I don't have cheekbones, so I've never accentuated. Well, now you're going to have cheekbones. And we're doing contouring and highlighting. I don't think I've done a contour and highlight video. I was originally going to have him do it, but then the camera died. Or the camera was kind of like close to dead, so we didn't do a... Just help it out. Don't squint. Wrinkles, wrinkles. Never squint when you put your makeup on. You'll make creases and wrinkles. Blur. Really heavily under the eyes you want this. Of course, blend it out, so I'll leave it all cakey. Look at the camera. I have a beauty blender somewhere. And then... 
charcoal on the ladder. And then we're gonna get our brush thingy. Just like how cosmetics brush. The make powder sure brush. Charcoal on the ladder so I don't know. I'm kind of thinking. Mm -hmm. Blend it. And blend. <laughs> that tickles. Careful, brushes tickle. Oh, uh, should we back up? Let's move so we're a little more in the camera. Oh. There we go. <laughs> that tickles. Don't kill yourself. You chill yourself. Chill yourself. Okay. No. Mama don't play. Get a new sponge. New sponge. Now, have what are we doing? Highlighting yes, contouring? Yes, I just have a cow cosmetics. Smoky eye palette. Or color, I don't know how to pronounce it. We're gonna get the white because she's kinda we want to really dramatic. You don't usually do it this dramatic, but we're going dramatic. Has a strag. Oh, I'm just gonna press that under. And should you do a highlight or um shadow first when you're contouring? I highlight first. Okay. Sets up what I want. Can you make me have like my cheekbones like all pretty and high? Please. Even this is still a little light. It's a little too dark for her when it's the light because her skin's so light. So, you know. Wait, this is too light for me? No, it's like blending with your foundation. Oh. Uh. Alright, let's put you on this side. I'm trying not to squint for you. Okay, I'm gonna get this color now. What color is that? I get taupe. I never knew how to pronounce that. Is it tape, tape or taupe? Taupe. Taupe. I'm gonna pat it off on our palette. Just gonna, this is the latest shade that we're gonna use, but we're gonna start like you can always build up intensity as you go along. Intense. So, you're already starting to get a little bit more defined. Yeah. And I'll look at the other side. We need to make sure we're even, so look at me, girl. Don't touch your face. Don't what? smile. Just look. I'm trying not. I'm trying not to smile, but you make me smile. I can't help that. Oh, so I'm glad. that now. Okay. Stop that. smiling. Do you want uneven cheekbones? I want them to be even. You want twins? Twins. Now we're going to go in with a little bit darker of a color. Going to pat a lot what of that. color? Don't let me. Wow. The cow smoky eye palette. Where could you get that if anyone wanted to buy it? I think it's a pro item, but it is on the cow website. I think you can order it. I don't know what you can. I'm just going to go in with the darker. And I can link the website to the, to the, is it cow or cow? C-A-O. The cow website. In cow case you guys want to try and get some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Make sure we're even. We don't want any even cheekbones. And since this is a drag look, we're gonna obviously do our temples. Really want to accentuate that cheekbone. I mean, it looks really nice in the camera. You can always see it growing. It looks kind of 
can't tell you if it's really screen on. This type of contouring is really good for like photo shoots and whatnot. Really severe, dramatic. We're gonna get those pimples. Don't forget, like when we get to like the eyeshadow and stuff, talk about like skin cool, warm. Alright, and then we're also gonna hit the forehead because drag contour. I mean, she's a woman, but women have rounded heads. Queens so. don't they have drag kings? Yeah. But we need king. Well, we're doing queen right now. Oh, okay, queen, sorry. I'm going to be drag queen. Queen. Round out her forehead. I wish I had a wig. Cause I'm gonna and we're going to get a little bit darker. What's that in? Can you, like, make me lose it? I'm not sure. I'm not a doctor. Well, you can, you can use <laughs> makeup to contour your nose. Yeah. Alright, so we're just going to blend in. Blend, 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 always blend, do not leave unblended. Okay. Have you seen the Jeffree Star video of him like telling everyone to blend? Yes, blend! Hunting. I say that. My yeah, last day hunting. What? My yeah, last day hunting. They just said it like hunting. Okay. Hunting, hunting, hunting. It's a mixture of two items. Oh, okay. Be, be nice to the camera. Into the gorge. I'm an explicit girl. I know you're an explicit girl, but just tone it down just a tad. Alright, now we're gonna go back in with our powder brush to really set blend, the makeup. blend you out more. I'm not trying to completely set, but we want a nice blend. Everything needs to be blended. I forgot to pick up the smiles on your stuff. That's okay. Go back in with our white again. I'm going to get the center of the forehead, because we want that to pop. Emphasis in the T-zone area, definitely. Center of the forehead, down the nose, just the center. Don't get too crazy with your nose, because you don't want to have a crooked nose. And the Wait. chin. Just lighten up the face. Lighten and brighten. Add light to where you need it. And you can even go in and... Get the keep it so area if you like. I have tiny lips. Yeah, you have, Can you, have, you make my upper book bigger? You have white people in. Okay. Yeah. Now we're gonna go in with this one. And what are we doing to my nose? Just this one. Yeah. I know that we're gonna We're not getting to the nose. Oh, no. Just gonna get okay. the forehead. Everything's a layering process. You start light Layers. build up. Don't go in with like black or brown first, you know. Get your toe your lights and work your way up. Because you want it to look as natural as the contour can. Which, you know, this look isn't overly should natural. I, should I turn, this is what I, I can't see, I'm blind as a bat. Oh, I can see the contours. Good job. Hi. Hi. Hi, Mom. Okay, and now we're going to get our darker shade of brown again. And where are we highlighting? We're contouring the jawline. Strong jaw? Yeah, we'll round it off. Contour. You have a nice safe jaw. So we're oh, gonna, I do? So we're going to accentuate that. Oh, I do in general? Yeah. Up. Under the chin. You have the face. Cause you have a shadow there. Five o'clock shadow. I'm not like a beard. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. We don't contour on beards. We're not candy house. Huh? She's dragging a RuPaul contour on a beard. <laughs> that tickles. Careful. Brushes tickle. Okay. Alright. Gonna grab one of your brushes. Hmm? Gonna grab one of your brushes. Just make sure it doesn't have any... Do you have a... Hold on. Brush surgeon. Brush change. This one. Yeah, a lot of those ones are clean. What are we doing? We're doing the nose. Okay. Yeah, so be still, don't talk, don't laugh. We're just going to lightly go down the sides of the nose. What are we doing? Are we making it we're thinner? Kinda, yep, we're going to go in a little bit, not too much, because we don't want to go crazy. Yeah. So you're going to outline the sides where you want your new nose that to start. Out. Make sure you're even. Girl, don't want a crooked nose. Make sure we feather that out. 
I'm just running. I'm just running around. Okay. Trying that. I'm gonna round out the tip of the. You can't see. We're gonna round it out right here. Kinda create the illusion of depth and whatnot. And we're gonna get our darker brown again. We're gonna tap a lot of that off. We don't need elasticity. And we're gonna start going in with that. So Tyro is telling me that he's not a good teacher. He's doing a damn good job. He's a liar. He said that, oh, I'm not good at it. He's doing a very, very good job. Go in. Okay, nice. When is Marissa coming in? Sunday. Yeah. Sorry, my mother was talking to me during this video. I'm going to get a big brush because I'm going to blend. So really blend it in. You don't want a harsh line. You want it extremely diffused. Have you used, so what, did you get any goodies when you went to the makeup um, seminar thing? I got one of his new shades of lipstick that hasn't even come out yet. That's like the really pretty, like, purpley one, right? It's called Queen Supreme. It's like Barbie pink. Oh, I thought it was purple for some other reason. No, it's just like a Barbie pink. Oh. It's really pretty. I haven't used it yet. And I also ordered a weirdo shade. Didn't like you get weirdo, one. too? That one came in the mail the other day. Ooh. And I bought it for you. Give you that exclamation point. It's gonna, you know, this is my play with fun. This is my first collaboration video. I'm gonna be making him beautiful too. Not this, not this, not today, but on a different day. So stay it's tuned, followers. Blend it out with the white. You do not want a harsh nose contour at all. Really blend it, just very subtle. And go in again with my brush. And all right. Okay. Now what? Now what? Let me look. I think we can move on to the eyeballs. Yay! Do we need blush? We do not. Do you have blush, mom? Or do you have blush, Tyler? Oh, I have to use. We can use it from here. We What? What are we doing? I'm gonna go in with this peach color. Show the camera, so go. The Cow Cosmetics Peach color from the uh, Look Eye Palette. The Cow Cosmetics. Tap on a mirror or something. I don't know if you see. Look yeah. at that pretty color, so. Tap. Okay. Now we're going to cover the entire eyelid all the way to the eyebrow. Get a nice base of color on her eye. So we have something to work with and move around and play with. Cover it. All the way up to the eyebrow, round the lid, everything you want. All the lid. You look sleepy. Huh? You look sleepy. Um, it's not coming out yet. <laughs> there you go. All right. All around. I'm gonna hold up my eyelid, no. eyebrow. No. I got you. All right. Now that that is set down, we are going to go in with. This is the Stella, Stella Cosmetics In This Moment palette. I mean, is that it? In the moment. In the moment, sorry. We, sorry, my brain thought about the band in this moment. They're really good. You guys should check them out. Maria Brink's a babe and her voice is wonderful. I think I'm going to go in with the Impulse color first. Oh, that's like true. Nice, I like that. It's like a purple. purple. And I um, do love purple. We're going to go in and we're just going to tap this on the eyelid. Tap, tap, tap. 
I'm just going to be another base. We don't want anything moving, so we have to set our base there. And I can go up a little bit above the eyelid. I don't have very much of a crease, so please bear with me, people. And then the other eye, just tap that on, make sure it's even. Twins always, no sisters, no stepsisters, no cousins. That friends. only works with eyebrows. No nope, eyebrows and twins. So, and now we have that base done. Oh, wow. Alright, now we're going to go in, because we always layer, so we can take... Don't forget about the other italics, if you, they have more different colored purples, too. We're going to go in with, I actually think I want to do some of this. In the glance, I'm going to grab a new brush. Grab a new brush here. Oh, I have brushes here, I too. I detail brush. We're going to use a little detail brush in this glance purple color from the palette. I love, I like this palette. It's really cute. So we're going to go in with a little detail brush because we want to get the nice sharp line of the crease. And she has little eyelids, so we're going to draw them up a little bit higher. Make sure if you do this, you make sure they're even on both sides of the corn. I should have put primer on. Because yeah, it'll go on smoother. Fine. Always use primer, guys. We improvise. We're real punk rock. We don't do anything oh, yeah. by the rules. So I'm just using this detail brush to get my line down. Because I want a nice line to see where I'm going. And I'm going to go back in with my brush. I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of color. Tap it off. And go back in and blend that out. And go in with a little bit more. Just a tap. What color? The same color. The purple? Yep. And really get in there. I want to really define the crease. I would never, I don't trust any other boys doing my makeup except for this kid right here. He's my best friend. Okay. Hey. I have to raise my eyebrows till I get the whole wide eyed look. Good luck. Alright, and now we're gonna go and repeat on the other side. We're gonna start with our detail brush. Okay, I forgot you did that side with the purple. Here we go. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna look at the other eye, see where we want our crease to be drawn, because we did draw it a little bit higher. And we're gonna go in and sketch that out with our detail brush. Just so we have a rough line of where we're going. And then we are going to go back in with our glance color on our nice blending brush. This is my favorite brush. I use this like all the time. This does everything. Does um, that brush have a number or something? No, oh, it's 109, but I think they just have a regular brush set. I don't know. The Cow Cosmetics Brush I love, 109. I love makeup brushes. And we're just going to... Lightly buff. I know I'm usually heavy handed, but I try to lightly good buff. Good job, good job. Lightly buff cream. on the eyes. The eyes are like the most delicate. We'll go back in with this side because we want to make sure everything's even. It's a back and forth game. You don't just do one, then the other. You go back and forth, back and forth. Good luck. Alright. Should I look at the camera? Alright, so that's kind of like the crease defined a little, you know. I wish I could see. I'm guys. I'm literally blind as a bag. So bad. All right now. Okay, still going. All right. Oh, we're doing a long video. Yeah. All right. So let me look and see what I want to do. Okay. So now we're going to get a clean brush. Any more colors? We're gonna go back in with that first color that we painted the Ooh. entire eye with. Because this is we use this as our brow highlight as well. So we're just gonna use this to blend out the edges of that purple. So we're just gonna go in. Hey peanut gallery, we're filming a video. Disturbing the video. So we're gonna buff, buff, buff that out. We don't want any harsh lines. I feel like I kind of really want to make my eyebrows look a different color. And so we're gonna go back in. Other eye, buff, buff, buff. Make sure they're even. Blending out the purple, right? Yep, we're blending out your purple. You want a nice line. Now I think. Oh, do you want um, like 
tissue, a napkin. We'll be professional. Clean off the breath on a napkin and make sure. Clean it all on the eyes so you don't need to like actually do a full cleaning. I use the same brush because I love this brush. And it helps build character in the color, but it helps them blend easier. And I'm gonna, I think we're going for like this, this color. Improv. Improv. Improvise. Improvise. Sorry, we can't, very, we can't talk. It's I can't dark. Read. It's dark. All right, it's a dark purple. We're gonna tap it on our mirror. And we're gonna go in and we're just gonna etch in the corner of the eye. Actually, Make that be shit. I'm gonna get a new brush. I am changing up my brush. Are we doing like the outer V? Yes, we're doing our outer V. Never do the outer V because I'm not very good at that. I'm just gonna go in and sketch. That's gonna elongate the eye a my little. My eyes are a little difficult to work with. And wanna blend that into what we have. Go under what up? And blend that underneath on the waterline. Not in the waterline, just right up to the waterline. About three Please excuse my weird face. Alright, look up again. About three quarters of the way and then taper it. And pull that back. What does taper mean? Explain to <laughs> point it off. Blend, oh, okay. blend it into the skin. We have the white down already with the highlight, so it's another eyeshadow color that's there that can hold the base. So eyeshadow blends eyeshadow, you can't really blend it on skin. I'm gonna wing it out a tiny bit. And let me look, girl. Ah. Let's just hope I can recreate that on the other side. I hate that. <laughs> the worst the worst thing about makeup is you get one side like perfect. And then the second, oh my, this this camera's, we're, on, we're filming on a webcam, so please excuse, like, the weird, like, angles of my face and me, like, moving this way because it goes that way. It looks like a mirror image. But like I was saying, when you're a makeup artist and you get one side perfect, it's hard, like, unless you're, like, Tyler. a wizard. Or me. Or Tyler. You can, it's hard to get it the exact same way. All right, now anyway, start. back to the video. Alright, close your eyes. Now we're going to go in with our V shape again. Looking at the other side. And we usually just follow the line of the eye up for when we do the wing anyway. So you pull up the eye. Follow it up to the end of the eyebrow. And it's a nice little trick. You know, now they're even wings. So now we just draw in our line. Make sure they're to the same spot. And look up. Eyes open, look up. Underneath. Please excuse me. I need to send a text to the peanut gallery. This is really rude. Rude girl, you being right to... Stop it, Tyler. We're trying to film a video and people are. Ooh. Are you? Is your elbow okay? Oh, I didn't really hurt myself. All right, girl. Up. Eyes open. Look up. We have. Shut the door. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry about that. I'm very, very sorry. Okay. Now look up again. Eyes open. Look up. Bad client for the word. Problem. I'm not a bad client. I'm just look up. Keep your mouth closed and look up. We need to open it to look up. That's fine, but don't talk. <laughs> Continue. Don't blink. I'm trying not to. Here's my client. And halfway along. Girl, keep moving your face. I'm, sh I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to show the camera. Oh, but it's not even. You can't show the camera. I'm, I'm going to go back in with our my favorite brush. Just one eye. And we're going to... Just a tiny bit of the color, not really up. And just buff that out on the bottom because we want a nice blend. And on the other side, we buff, buff, buff. And we're going to go back in on the other side just to finish defining. I'm not
Finish defining it. And get her wing in. You like that nice wing blush. And we are going. Back and forth, back and forth, blending. Then we go in with our brush, and we are going to go in with our little ways. You see what I'm blending? Just nice, nice blending. Well, this isn't a harsh egg to look like with the eyes. No, it's very. I mean, it's purple, but it's soft. So you can wear this out in the daytime. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Alright, now I think what do I want? I want more color. We're gonna go in with this gold. Colors. This we're still using the in the moment still a power. Spontaneous. Spontaneous. My clothes we're gonna do this in the inner corner. Just to lighten and brighten. We're gonna pack that in. I'm gonna blend open and look at I'm gonna blend that into the purple on the other side. And blend that into the purple. This could be a Mardi Gras look because of the purple and Oh, gold. it's Mardi Gras. That's the look I was going for. If we really you wanted it. to label it. You guessed it. Oh my goodness, it was a surprise and she had to guess it. Look at you being all smart. So now we have the purple and the gold. It's still soft. It's still feminine. It's still subtle. It's not too heavy. Or the gold a little bit on the lid just to add a little bit of shimmer. So we're going to lightly dust it over the purple we did. Kind of bring the look together. Just going to add that. And tap off the extra product to blend. Oh my eyes! Oh, I got no product on it. Okay. Right. Success. Usually, that there's product everywhere. What are we doing? Fixing the ring. We did blend a little bit of the wing away when we put the gold in, so add that back, alright. Should I face the camera and swipe for our progress? We just brush. We have the powder set under the eye, so we can brush away the color because it's a new powder. Oh, I didn't know that. See, the heavier you put the powder, the more you can do it. You know, we don't have a lot of heavy powder, so. I but feel like I'm getting blinded by this one. Alright, now look in the camera. We can show them that beautiful... It's getting there. It's working. It's getting there. Work in progress. It's a work in progress. So I'm going to clean our brush again. And I'm very sorry about the screaming shut the door thing. It's just we're trying to do a video. And I know, like, there's a lot going on in the background. So, so now I love Got to set them straight. Love this brush. I'm always going to use it. I keep just wiping it down. I should probably buy more, but I don't. And go back in with our that first light purple we used. And just really... Go in where we define the crease. Let's just add that a little bit more. It's all about layering, working, and blending out. And we're going to go back in on the other side, tap out our color, never blow on your brush. It's gross. Gross, gross, gross. No, do that. Okay. And I tap. Okay. And then it gets all over the sink. You tap on the mirror if it's not on top. But I don't have a mirror. On the whole way. Oh. Um, Alright, look at me. I think we're getting somewhere. Alright, now we're gonna get our setting powder. And we're gonna put some on our brush. And we're gonna just brush that under the eye again, brighten it up. Look at me. Right. I think 
For right now, I'm good with the eyes. Should we move on to the eyebrows? Mm-hmm. I think I want to try something new. What are we going to do? I want to try to put color in your eyebrows. Do you want to... see how this works. My eyebrows are kind of dark, so do you want to put, like, foundation over them? No, I think we're just going to go in. This is a new trick for me, so let's see. I'm going to paint that in. Is it showing up? I don't know. I'm gonna work it. It'll work. Okay. It's adding a nice tint of color, so it's there. It's not too extreme. I'm gonna shape them up. And it's there. It's there. Wait, can you see it now? Okay, no, I guess I can just. It adds. Alright, now for the other eyebrow. Alright, let's draw this in. Since, you're, since we're going off for natural eyebrows, we just fill in. Just fill in. And we're gonna brush. I would go get my spoolie, but then I'd be off camera. That's fine. Okay. Alright. Just gonna fill that in. We'll go in with our. Actually, oop! Oh. Almost dropped the brush. You never drop the that's, brush because then you can't, brush. you can't use it all. There's no such thing as a set brush. You use a brush where you use it. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't know that. The brush is a brush. And then just put the color in. Bigger, it's fluffier. It just Fluffy. Fills it in. And then go with the direction of the hair. Fill that in. And we have like a purple eyebrow going on, so it's cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you dye my hair, I'm gonna have to. That's mm. one. We can do dark eyebrows, yeah. Wait, mm -hmm. purple? We can do like dark, regular hair. I mean, dark eyebrows with purple hair. And we're gonna go back in and do that crease color again. I'm gonna have to crease the eyebrow highlight just to lighten up. Is that thing good? I think so. Alright, now what I want to do is be do some blush. Okay. I think I'm doing a very purpley and gold theme look, so we'll mm. go in with purple. Just using the same purple we use on the eyes. No faces. What? Oh, I don't make any faces? No, we're using the same purple we use on the eyes. Just tap it. And fill in. Just light up. Wait, so where are the apples of the cheek? Is it like where you're. Well, we drew on a cheek, so we're oh, just. Okay. We drew on a fake cheek with a contour, so we're just kind of going off of that. Just warming it up, adding the purple in. And purple. I guess that's all I can say. And just gonna do the other side. Build up the intensely because we don't want like crazy, but we want intense. We want it there. We want everyone to know it's at the party, but we don't want it to be the reason they came to the party. <laughs> Alright. And since we have this fantasy look going on, we should go in with the gold and just bronzer up. Right? Yeah, Take a little bit of the gold, and we're gonna go right above where we uh, where we put the blush, just with the gold, just a nice stripe. It's gonna add a little bit of dimension to the look. Okay, you see your shine there. You're looking cute. Thanks, girl. And now we're gonna add a little shine where we highlight it in. Just a little, just a little. Just that. All I say is like sparkle. It's like sparkle, you guys. It's a fairy. Uh, One. Blend. We still want it a little harsh where we contour, but I like a strong contour personally. It's true. We're gonna go back in and reline where we contoured. Just 
to really set the tempo. And I said that like 20 times, so that's okay. That's okay. Repetition is good, so then you know what to do. I'm sorry. Set that line in. Blend it up and out. And make the blush there. Okay. Coming together. I'm going to go in with our white again. Go right underneath where we did that. Just buff, buff, buff. And the other side. Just buff it lightly. So tarnish for blending. So what? So what if they don't have like wipes? Can they use other well, alternatives? Well, you use a color that matches your skin tone. Like, I mean, if you're as light as her, you'd probably want a white. If you're a little darker, you can use the banana powder yellow, and things in that family. Just you want something that's a few shades lighter than your skin tone. For her, it's white, so we're yeah. using white. And now. Do you want to do like a gold tint to it? I think I have an idea of what we're okay. going to do. Where's the little wet brush? Maybe we do it down here. Mm -hmm. right. Or do we line first? Do oh, I don't have any wet liner. Well, I have like a pink one, but it didn't match that. And gotcha. I don't want to get up. Alright, so we're not going to line the lips this time because we feel them brave. But line your lips. Alright. Now. The lips are in four portions, so you, one, two, three, four, and you work out to in, or middle to out, in all the spots. And you just draw on the lip shape you like, and fill in, and get right in there. Open your mouth, get right in there. <laughs> That's a pause. Move it a little, baby. That's because you keep pushing it back. Alright, and now the other, the other paint, draw on the shape you like, make it big, make it little, go crazy, have a party. Alright, now, top of it. Of a very thin lip. We don't even need to paint. There's nothing there. <laughs> so just get in. We need to. Girl, please. <laughs> Ooh, girl. All right. Let's snap them together. Let's get some color transfer action. All right, girl. Now we're gonna paint. Put my faces. Gonna sharpen her cupid's bows. Sharp shapes. If you do that, make sure they're even on both sides. You know, you don't want crazy droopy lips. Mm -hmm. So that's the little look that you have. Oh, I've been doing it wrong all the time. Are you all talking while I'm painting your lips? Sorry. Girl, now you're gonna have crazy lips because you're speaking. Doing a little bit crazy of a look with the lips. That's okay. Don't lose your tip. Just now, if I mess up on your lips, it's your fault because you're moving your face. I'm trying not to. We're overdrawn because we need some big lips in your eyes. Oh, yeah. Smile your face because it's bigger. Of the lines they're gonna get. I think 
Okay, that's as clean of a liner as we can get without lip liner. We weren't using that today, so. Well, we're not participating in this line there. Next time, next, next time. Next time we will. Okay, yeah. now we're gonna add. We get a new brush. What are we grabbing? Oh. Make sure there's no special effects stuff on it. I think this brush is fine. See? Alright. Make a kissy face. As tight of a purse as you can get. We're gonna go in with some gold. Yeah. Real tight, real tight. We're just going to apply that to the center, the top and the bottom. Now release, then you have a nice crack. Rum, yeah, so you no. want me to rub my lips together? No, no, perfect again. Alright, have a nice gold shimmer in the middle now. It gives it a nice All I can light. see is, I'm blind. All I can see is like the contours. Yeah, they're dark. <laughs> and then okay. we're really gonna define those lips because we're doing we're being crazy for that. Okay. What color are we going in with? Let's do the purple. Okay. This brush is a little big, so we don't use that. Um. Get one of the thin ones. Try one of the thin ones. Okay. Yeah. See. All right. Now we're gonna do the edges of the mouth. Darken it up. Girl, are you growling at me? I'm not growling at you. Don't make your face loose. Don't make any faces. That's how I make faces when I do my makeup. Don't make faces. Alright, and now we're gonna do it on the other side. Kind of just get the edges in here, the darker edge of dimension. Bring it all together. You can't even clean up all the lines that you are out to do on that lip liner. I'm sorry. Okay. And let's get that top. Move this on the outside corner. Girls making fish faces at me. <laughs> fish Home faces. girls making faces. I'm sorry I make faces. And now we are going to. Line the eyeball. Oh no. How do you feel? I don't know. Like I want All to. Alright, we won't then. Go try. Don't move your face. Girl yeah. got a beauty mark. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna like draw on my face. Stab your eyeball out. Yep. Alright, now we are going to glue some nice things on your face. Let me see where I want to add them. Everywhere. Just cover your entire face. Yeah. Just kidding, no. Where are my tweezers? Here they are. Alright, let me think where I want to add these. We're going on like an hour long video. Oh, wow. Alright, um. I kind of want to like line your eyebrows this time. But I know you don't want glue near your eyebrows. No. I don't care. Huh? I don't care. Dab it in the glue. Ooh. Sorry, no, 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 right here. Dab it in the glue. Let it dry for a sec. Ooh, I'm dropping it. Wanna get tacky? Yeah, well, I'm dropping it everywhere, so it's not working. Just me. I'm gonna bump it in my head. Right there. Where? In the corner. Of where? Your eye. eye. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now we're going to. This is hard. I thought I'd like rhinestones, but I don't. That's why you're gonna go. Maybe it's the tweezers, so. I'm gonna blame the tweezers. Put that down. We don't want that glue to get dry enough. I don't know. No problem. You want to stay for dinner? Mm, my brother wants me to cook something. Uh -huh. mm, one more. We'll just make an even three or an odd three. Oh. Glue set or on the glue set. 
boost my stats. Let's see why am I? Oh girl, it's here. Wait, oh I have to turn my head this way. Sorry about the weird faces. Um, three more nice rhinestones we need. These rhinestones are a pain, but they're beautiful. It's your tweezers. Okay. Oh, good thing. Find my tweezers. I blame my tweezers. This one's all set. I need researching. Alright. Wanna use the um stuff I have? The what tweezers? No, the wash bowl. Oh, this glue can I just oh, okay, drop just in. Don't their pain. Bear with me, everyone. It's okay. Alright. So. And the third one is on the way. And it's this one, everyone. Alright. Number three. Let me take a selfie so that the video I love the salt the glue. Huh? I love the salt the glue. It makes my best. Yeah. I love that song. I love that song. Alright, so we are rhinestoned up. And now we just need some mascara. And we are done. Can you hold that? Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you, Tip. If you're putting mascara on, Someone, disposable. it's good to have disposable ones uh -huh. handy because. the camera. Instead of putting your face disposable on. Disposable. One dab in and out. Or two. Or three. Well, hold that. Now we're gonna get the lashes up with a face to root, or root to end. Go on. Tyler, oh my god. I'm not supposed to be in my eye. No. See? No, you just got to like this. It's not in my eye. That's where the mascara goes. I know that, but no. I'm used to doing it myself. Oh That's my god. Fine. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> do you want me to do it? The part. Can you just finish your mascara? Mm -hmm. We did a good job. Ooh, I like it. Thank you. Your clients are afraid of you putting a mascara on near their eyes. No double dipping. Why? What's the point of using a disposable wand? Can, can I have another wand for you? What's the point of using disposable wands if you're going to double uh -huh. dip? But it was on my eye. Yeah, but then you put everything that was in your eye back into the uh. mascara tube. No double dipping. Let's go. Let's use that back on. Okay, good. I got it. Oh wow, we definitely should have used. And I think that's the look. Can I can I um put my glasses on now? I think you can put your glasses on okay. and you can look. Ooh. The lighting's very bad by the way, get my cheek bounce. Look at them cheeks. Okay, come back, come in here. Alright guys, see you next week. I just want to thank Tyler for doing my for my makeup. Oh. I'm gonna link my Facebook page down in the in the description below. I'm going to post the cow, the link to the cow cosmetics. cow cosmetics in the description below. 
Check out my other videos, like my page, subscribe, tell your friends. Like my status if you pregnant. <laughs> Tyler, you can't say stuff like that. Well, you can, but this is a makeup video. Like, anyway. like my status if you like makeup. Oh, like yeah. my status if you use mascara. Like my status if you like rhinestones. <laughs> Anyway, guys, see and you like next week. Like my status if you like platypuses <laughs> or platypuses.